imagine being just three and taking a tumble down the stairs. A fall so bad, everyone thought you were done for. But then, you wake up, and it's like, you're not just you anymore. That's Dorothy Edith Starr, a regular kid from London who, after that fall, starts to remember a life in ancient Egypt. Sounds like something out of a movie, right? Well, Dorothy insisted it was her reality. She'd hang out at the British Museum, chatting up statues and relics like they were old pals from back in the day. Who does that? She claimed these pieces of ancient history weren't just cool to look at they were part of her, memories of a past life where she walked among pharaohs and pyramids. Now think about it for a sec. How many of us daydream about being someone else, somewhere else, maybe in someone else? But Dorothy, she lived that dream, or at least she believed she did. Moving from London to Egypt, changing her name to Om Seti, and dedicating her life to uncovering Egypt secrets. Sounds like a wild adventure, or maybe just a wild imagination. But what if she is onto something? What if our past lives are out there, waiting to reconnect with us, to tell us stories we never knew were ours? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Who were you in a past life and what secrets are you carrying around? Let's dive into Dorothy's story, a tale that blurs the lines between past and present, and see if we can find a piece of ourselves along the way. Childhood and the Accident Dorothy's story kicks off in the most dramatic way possible for a three-year-old in London. Victor this a regular day, turns upside down with a tumble that seems like it's straight out of a parent's worst nightmare. Falling down the stairs is no joke, especially when it leaves everyone thinking, this is it. But then, something straight out of a fairy tale happens. Dorothy wakes up, not just wakes up, but gets back on her feet like she's been given a second chance. But here is where it gets weirdly interesting after that fall. It's like she's not just Dorothy anymore. It's as if that knock on the head unlocked a whole other world inside her. A world where she's walking and talking in ancient Egypt. Now you've got to wonder, how does a fall change everything you thought you knew about yourself? Most kids get back up, maybe cry a bit, and then it's all forgotten. But not for Dorothy. It's like that fall was a key, and it unlocked memories buried so deep inside her that they had to be from another life. Suddenly, she's obsessed with everything ancient Egyptian, and not in a mummies are cool kind of way, but in a this is my past calling me back kind of way. What if things we got through today are just echoes from our past lives trying to tell us something? Dorothy's life throw this crazy idea into the mix. She turns an ordinary childhood in London into an extraordinary journey back to ancient Egypt, all because of one bad fall. Makes you think, doesn't it? What memories are hiding behind the scrapes and bruises of our own lives waiting to tell us stories we can't even imagine? Awakening an obsession with ancient Egypt. After Dorothy's fall, it wasn't just a few bumps and bruises she picked up. It was like she grabbed a thread from another era and started pulling. This wasn't your usual kid getting into dinosaurs or princess's face. This was full-blown, head-over-heels love for ancient Egypt. Imagine a little girl in the early 90s declaring the Egyptian gallery at the British Museum as her home. Yeah, that was Dorothy. She wasn't just fascinated, she was obsessed. Walking into that museum, she wasn't Dorothy from London anymore. She was someone from the sands of Egypt, someone who looked at those artifacts and sub memories, not history. She started spouting facts about ancient Egypt that you wouldn't expect from a regular kid of her age. How did you explain a young girl knowing things about a war thousands of years gone? things she'd never been thought. It was as if that fall had knocked the present out of her and filled her with a past life. 
she'd spent hours with the mummies and the statues, feeling right at home among them, while everyone else just saw museum pieces. It's wild, isn't it? How a childhood accident turned into a lifelong journey, chasing down memories of a life lived in ancient times. Makes you question, what if our obsessions are more than just interest? What if they're echoes from our past lives, talking at us, trying to remind us of where we once belonged? Dorothy's obsession with ancient Egypt wasn't just a phase, it was the beginning of a quest to piece together who she once was, a journey that would take her from the crowded streets of London to the desert of Egypt, chasing the shadows of her past. Visionary experience and spiritual encounters Dorothy's life took an even more intriguing turn with her visions and spiritual encounters, especially when the knight wrote visits from Horra, who she claimed was the spirit of Pharaoh Seti himself. Picture this night after night, this character from an era long gone chose to have a chat with Dorothy. Of all people, sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, doesn't it? But for Dorothy, it was as real as it gets a bridge connecting her to a past she was convinced she was part of. These weren't your average dreams filled with vague memories or wishes, they were vivid, detailed encounters that felt more like meetings. Horra didn't just pop by to say hi, he wrote with him message, filling Dorothy's head with tales and knowledge of ancient Egypt that she hadn't learned from any book. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Were the visits just the product of an overactive imagination, sparked with her obsession with ancient Egypt? Was there something more mystical at play? Skeptics might chalk it up to a mix of a Jones Gear fantasy life blending with an intense interest in Egyptology. But for those who like to think there's more to this world than meets the eye, Dorothy's experience could be seen as an evidence of psychic abilities a spiritual connection to the past, or maybe even extraterrestrial intervention. Whatever the source, these encounters with Hura weren't just bedtime stories, they shaped her path, pushing her further into a life dedicated to uncovering the secrets of ancient Egypt. This part of Dorothy's story really gets the gears turning. It's a reminder that sometimes the most incredible stories the ones that challenge our understanding of reality come from the most unexpected places. Dorothy's visions and spiritual encounters led her down a path few of us can even dream of, diving into the mysteries of a world that existed thousands of years ago. So what did you think? Were Dorothy's nightly visits a glimpse into a past life, or just dreams inspired by that deep love for ancient history? Either way, they set the stage for a life of adventure and discovery, blurring the lines between the past and the present, between what's known and the mysteries that remain just out of reach. Life as Omni Seti Marias, a change and dedication to Egypt. Dorothy's leap from a Londoner to Om Seti, the devoted student and preservers of Egypt's ancient past, wasn't just a change of scenery. It was a total transformation of identity, driven by a pull towards Egypt that was too strong to ignore. Imagine packing up your life, driving by a connection so deep, it feels like it's been carved into your soul over millennia. That's exactly what Dorothy did when she moved to Egypt. But it wasn't just about getting closer to the ancient world she loved, it was about becoming part of it marrying an Egyptian and becoming Om Seti, which means mother of Seti, wasn't just a name change. It was her embracing a new identity, one that linked her directly to the land that called to her across the age. And let's not forget the magnitude of this dedication. We're talking about a woman who, in the mid-20th century, moved to a completely different country to chase down memories of a life she believed she had lived thousands of years ago. She poured her heart and soul into uncovering and preserving Egypt's ancient history, 
working tirelessly to ensure that its stories weren't lost to time. Contributions to Egyptology and Archaeological Discoveries On Seti's journey, from a young girl fascinated by ancient Egypt to a respected figure in Egyptology is nothing short of remarkable. After moving to Egypt and immersing herself in its history, she is not only became known as Om Seti, but also made significant contributions to the field of Egyptology, particularly with her work in Abydos. Her profound dedication led to collaborations with leading archaeologists like Salim Hassan, Ahmed Fakri, and Labib Abachi, participating in digs, authoring papers, and even identifying previously unknown archaeological sites through her claim memories of a past life. Her most notable work was at the Temple of Seti in Abydos, where she felt an intense connection, describing it as walking into a place where she had lived before. There, she demonstrated her unique knowledge by locating scenes depicted on walls murals in complete darkness and identifying the location of a garden that, upon excavation, revealed ancient tree stumps. These accomplishments were not just based on her extensive study, but were also intertwined with her clean past life memories, adding a layer of mystique to her archaeological insights. Omset's life and work were characterized by a blend of scholarly research and spiritual experience. Her ability to navigate the academic and mystical worlds garnered her respect among Egyptologists and archaeologists, proving invaluable to the understanding of ancient Egyptian religion and culture. Her enduring legacy in Abydos, coupled with her role in guiding tours and educating others about Egypt's ancient past, solidified her status as an indispensable resource for the archaeological community. Legacy, Mysteries and Unanswered Questions On Seti's story, weaving through the leads of time from ancient Egypt to the modern day, leaves a legacy rich with mysteries and unanswered questions. Her life challenges our conventional understandings of memory, identity, and perhaps even the boundaries of life itself. Om Seti was not just a scholar of Egyptology, she was a bridge to the past, claiming a connection to ancient Egypt that was as personal as it was profound. Her contributions to archaeology and her unique insights into ancient Egyptian culture have left an indelible mark on the field. Yet, it's the enigmatic nature of her experience, her vivid visions, her spiritual encounters, and her unshakable belief in reincarnation that continue to fascinate and perplex. Amsati's life is a testament to the power of belief and the deep of the human connection to history. She believed she was the reincarnation of an ancient Egyptian priestess, a claim that, for some, stretched the boundaries of credibility. Yet, regardless of one's stance on reincarnation, her dedication and contributions to Egyptology are undeniable. The mysteries surrounding Omseti, like the localization of Nefertiti's tomb that she hinted at, or the diary of Seti she believed was hidden, remain tantalizingly out of reach. These unanswered questions invite us to ponder the limits of our understanding and the possibility of knowledge beyond conventional means. They challenge us to consider if there are dimensions of existence and consciousness yet to be explored. Om Seti's stories force us to confront our perceptions of identity and the continuity of the self across time. It raises profound questions about the nature of memory. Is it possible for memories to transcend the boundaries of a single lifetime? Can a deep, abiding love for a place or a time not experience one's current life hint at connections beyond our understanding? And there you have it, the incredible journey of Om Seti, a tale where history meets mystery, challenging what we believe about the past, memory, and even the essence of our souls. As we close this chapter, remember, the world is full of stories waiting to be explored, secrets longing to be uncovered. If Om Seti's story has captivated you, started your curiosity, 
or even if you've got your theories, we'd love to hear them. Hit the like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, share this video to spark the conversation, and don't forget to subscribe for more tales that take you beyond the boundaries of the known. Your next adventures await right here on our channel.